I've been waiting for a minute for my lady So I can't jeopardize that for one of these hoes I've been The homie Marty just picked us up Will pick me up, but we're right now. We're right now. Uh, BQ, we're headed your way. We got a couple things to talk about. Biggest thing I want to talk about today, hopefully on this car ride, is um, networking. I think the power of networking, and I'm, I'm very big on this. If you haven't checked out my latest YouTube channel on this, out of the barber seminar, shout out F and the barber. Um, I suggest you check that out, and it, it, it's a foundation uh, that's that will help you scale in any business sector, meaning whether in your real estate, right Marty? Real yeah, estate very true. networking is huge. Like it's definitely in this climate, especially in this climate, it's who you know that really makes moves for you. Like if you don't know anybody, it's really, really hard to even get your foot in the industry. Like you really, really have to know people. Um, and I mean, that's just based off of my own experience. I, you know, when I started off, I jumped into it. I knew nobody and it was tough, but the little, you know, little exposure I did get, I started really rushing the networking process, uh, especially when I met you, Fausto. But I really started rushing that networking process, and it did. Especially if you if you connect with like-minded people, exactly. and, it's, and that's where, where where creativity really starts to exactly. really take effect. Definitely, bro, and and that's that's true because what I mean is like. In real estate, in any type of business, whether you're a coffee shop, whether you, you sell clothes, whether you, whatever, eyelash extensions are really big right now. You build a brand around that and you start reaching out to people in your sector who are either above you or below you. Just the fact that you're networking and adding value to one another. Now, I call this type of networking called genuine networking, meaning you provide value to the person you're trying to network with and they provide value back. It's, it's reciprocated in a genuine way and very mutual so this will levitate your business and your your life in general because what happens is your mind will start seeing new things start hearing new ideas start hearing new vocabulary start hearing exactly. different understanding new concepts exactly and what your mind will do is tap into a sector that you have not tapped in yet and therefore your potential starts getting higher and higher because everyone has potential it's just how you develop it right and you expose it to it exactly so that being said like don't be scared like the internet is your friend right now a lot of big platforms I suggest you guys be on LinkedIn LinkedIn is big especially for this type of genuine marketing Instagram so good it's just our, our, the organic reach is, is declining but I suggest Twitter Twitter's good for copy and, and reaching out to people commenting on their threads in the sector that you're in or whatever just kind of connect with people and see what their what the thought process is but um start developing these new foundations for you and your life in general and if you start a business or just an endeavor a passion uh it's going to be very beneficial for you to grow exponentially so that being said we're out here at mcdonald's you need grabbing coffee stuff. bro you need that yeah bro you need that refill it's the only thing that keeps us alive <laughs> but uh that being said, not anything before uh, we start heading out? No, definitely, bro. Like, uh, networking is huge now. Um, and then the way the way everything is shifting, it's all, it's all starting to be social media based. Give me one sec. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, yeah, you want coffee? Yeah, yeah. yeah me. Yeah. I was riding out in the V12 with the racks in the middle. I was riding around in the V12 with the racks in the middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I was riding around in the V12 with the racks in the middle. Had a friend almighty God, they let my dog out the kennel. When you get it straight up by the mud, you can't imagine this shit. I've been pulling up in the drop tops with the baddest bitches. Young nigga been focused on my check. Mm -hmm. Got a new coupe wrapped around my neck. Mm -hmm. Trying to put the water on my protect. Mm -hmm. I got killers to the left of me. Mm -hmm. We was lurking on her. Ain't show no mercy on her. We was going back to back. We put a curfew on her. It was dark clouds on us. We just got here, San Jose, to your neck of the woods, BQ. We're high, bro. We're ready. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling kind of drained out today, but man, I love. I was seeing telling you, lights, bro. Just seeing the lights and the buildings. And just all coming to to the, to the city, Silicon Valley. You know what I mean? And just seeing the tall buildings, the lights. Man, that shit got me juice. I was almost crashing out right here in the car, but man, I'm juice, man. So. We're gonna share a little bit. We're gonna meet up with BQ right now. We're just getting that $5 parking. Uh, we're gonna record our conversation, see if it's cool with him, share some value, share some knowledge. It's gonna be casual, it's not gonna be, you know, this is not something that 
that's like planned, like in the sense of topic wise or spontaneous, you know? So we're gonna try this out. But I know I know me and BQ and the team are gonna connect so well, so can't wait to share this with you guys. Keep on the lookout for this one. I mean it like ever since baby on baby drop me. Ever right. since baby you on know, baby oh, drop. Ain't nobody oh, drop shit. Let's go. Ha. I needed some shit with some bob in it. Let's go. I flew past the whip with that blunt in my mouth. Watch the swerving that whip had a cop in it. Woo. My bitch got good pussy. Fly her across the country. I finished mm. the show and I mm. hop in it. Mm. I got me a milli. I did it legitly. I'm still with the shits. I'm a hot nigga. Hot. Oh, you asking for pictures with niggas? What? What's your name? Get the fuck out the spot, Get nigga. I'm trying to figure out. How you so, feel, Marty? Dude, I, I feel it's 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 amazing to re like everything that I wanted to do, everything that I was like striving for. Every time I talk to someone about you know my my plans, my future, my this, when I would say, dude, I want to build an empire, I want to do something big. Everyone kind of looked at me like uh, <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Okay, whatever, cool, you know. So a lot of people were turned off because they thought I had this kind of like a pipe dream. And it's and it, and it was it was a to me it was a failure, dude, because like I literally did the most. Yeah, you're good, you're good. I did the most to try to get people to think like me. Like, mm. I I do I see and I believe that it's possible. Like, obviously, you can't find a million people like me, but I can create a million people like me. But I have to start with the. You're good, you're good, bro. The ex, the uh, the example, right? It was. I feel like maybe I, I I overwhelmed them with everything that I was trying to do to the point where they saw it as a. An illusion, yeah. something like ah, uh, you're just dreaming too much, bro. Your head's up there. Come down to the real world. But now, like, this is just a start, bro. And the fact that as soon as I linked up with Fausto, it was just like all that shit was set. And after that, it was just obviously we had to put that grind in, that fucking 3 a.m. grind. And next day, wake up, do it again. Still 3 a.m. grind. And now it's starting to really unfold. But this is literally the fucking start of my life. That's right. From here. That's right. So. There you have it. That, and for this conversation, bro, and the thing is, this is the second conversation that we've had networking with people who are like-minded. There's there's just way more that we're gonna do, but we are we are delivering a service to where it will be there good go. for everyone. Business owners. Good shit. People who are trying to really, you know, deliver their own thing. Yep. The the it's you know times are fucking changing and it's it's true, bro. Like everything here in the in Silicon Valley, it's not the same vibe. It's not the same vibrations that you get, you know, in a small city like Hollis here. Yep. But the fact that we're out here and we're really networking and, and people don't people are taking me seriously, as opposed to people who were, I don't want to say small minded, but they weren't there yet mentally, didn't see it as a reality. Now I'm talking to people who really have lived. A situation where they 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 realize it's fucking possible, and it's amazing. It just blows my mind, bro. That now I am manifesting all this shit, but it doesn't stop there. Just because I'm here, it doesn't mean I'm gonna be happy and comfortable and just stay here. Like, nah, dude. The reason why I got here is because of the fucking grind. So the only the only formula is to keep fucking grinding. That's right. So my message to everyone, bro, all the kids, everyone who thinks that they can't be what they want to be or they can't get there, trust me. It's gonna be unbelievable from where you're at to where you should be. But when you see the little steps of progress that are getting you there, then you're gonna realize it's fucking possible. But patience and effort, dedication, and drive, I think, is a good formula to get where you wanna be. There you have it. And it's a universal template for there you anything have it. that you want, dude. There you have it. But yeah, here it's, uh, what is it, A. And we're about to go grind right now. 8.35, almost 8.40, what's today? The, what is it, 10th? I believe so. Wednesday, December 11th, 2019. Let's go, let's get it. There you guys have it. Sam Pet. Fill my mind up with ideas I'm the highest in the room Hope I make it out of here